Welcome to Counterpoint. I'm Tanya Granick Allen. The Alberta election has been called, and on May 29th, voters will head to the polls to elect a government. Now, at the time of dissolution, the 87 seats in the Alberta legislature were broken down this way. 60 MLAs from the United Conservative Party, 23 MLAs from the New Democrat Party, two independents, and two vacancies. This will be the first election in which incumbent Premier Danielle Smith is running as leader of the UCP. Now, if you recall, she took over from former Premier Jason Kenney in the fall of 2022. But the previous NDP government is eagerly campaigning to get another chance to form government. Led by former Premier Rachel Notley, the NDP have been trying to tear down what seems to be a conservative stronghold in Alberta. So which issues are top of mind for electors as they head to the polls in, in just a few short weeks? And of course, who will form government? Well, joining me now to provide their insights is elections lawyer Mike Donison and former Calgary MP Rob Anders. Rob, uh, Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. We're happy to unpack this issue, especially we only have a few more weeks till the election comes on. So why don't I start with you, Rob? What is the race looking like thus far? <laughs> Well, I, th I think it's a lot tighter. I think some people are surprised by the polls. I'm not because, uh, you know, I did a lot of polling even months ago. And uh, the thing is, some of this stuff is distracting. So, for example, uh, Calgary uh, is really the battleground. So even though the polls that I did showed that, for example, the UCP had 55 percent and the NDP was sitting at around 40, the real battle is Calgary. So it doesn't matter how strong the UCP is in rural Alberta, how strong the NDP is in Edmonton, the battle in Calgary uh, was instead less than five points. And a lot of the seats that are up for grabs are one, two, three point margins. So I have the NDP, for example, leading in 16 of the 26 seats in Calgary and even leading in five rural. Uh, my overall results would show that the NDP, sorry, the UCP would pick up 46 seats. That's down from 60. That's 14 down. And the NDP would get 41. Wow. So based on those numbers, that's actually a very tight government, perhaps even potentially minority territory. Uh, Mike, do you have the same perspective? What, what is your read on the election so far? Very similar to Rob's on the numbers. A couple of polls have come out uh, uh, recently. A couple have come out actually showing the NDP ahead in seats. Now, some of these seats, as Rob says, are particularly in Calgary, which is the key. There's probably about eight to ten seats in Calgary that are really swing. And the NDP almost have to win all of them to get a narrow majority. But at the moment, they seem to be leading or uh, slightly leading in almost all 10 of them when a week ago it was the other way around. So there's obviously been a movement in the electorate based on the polling uh, towards the NDP. The real question is, is it will it be enough to put them over the top? Uh, and uh, I think it's a 50-50 situation at the moment. Now, both you gentlemen touched on um, a very interesting perspective, and I always appreciate this as seeing, we see this in British Columbia, we see this here in Ontario. Obviously, this plays very strongly in Alberta. The rural-urban divide, how the votes mm. play out, and if I understand correctly, it seems that there tends to be a more center, maybe center-left voter contingent in, in Calgary, in the large urban center, obviously Albert, um, Edmonton, which is the capital. Uh, whereas the urban, uh, the more rural seats tend to be more conservative. Would that be a fair assessment, Rob? Yeah, like for example, in Edmonton, I mean, it's a sweep for the NDP. Uh, you know, the polling I had was at 65 percent. The UCP was only at 31. I mean, that's a massive gap. Likewise, though, the flip side, rural Alberta, uh, the NDP was sitting at uh, 34 and the UCP was sitting at 61. Now, it still looks as though the NDP is picking up some seats in rural Alberta. Uh, for example, they're they're doing well in uh, Lethbridge West. I mean, they, they held that anyhow. Uh, but Lethbridge East is they're ahead by four points. Banff Kananaskis uh, was my riding. They're ahead by nine points. Uh, Sherwood Park they're ahead by seven. Strathcona Sherwood Park uh, they're ahead by two. So you know, there's there's some gains even in rural Alberta. Wow. Okay. And we only have about half a minute before we get to commercial, Michael. Um, are you surprised with some of these results? Did you think that this is where things would be at this point heading into the election a few weeks ago? Uh, no, I'm not surprised uh, at all. And maybe we can talk in the next segment about how, you know, what's, what are the themes of the campaign and why I wouldn't, I'm not gonna, now surprised with these results. No, I'm not surprised. In fact, for a long time, long distance, the UCP were trailing the NDP after the decapitation of Mr. Kenny 
So I'm not surprised that this is a close race. Okay, well, we're going to pick up this and uh, we're going to talk about what issues are top of mind for voters in just a few moments. We'll be right back.